At noon, a student accused of slashing another during a fight at Westland Hialeah High School faced a judge today. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live outside the courthouse in Miami with more on what happened there. Peter. Well, Lauren, one striking thing is that no family members were here for that 15 year old youngster. He told a judge here in court that he lives with his mother, but he was not sure if she even knew he was in custody. That judge did find cause to hold him pending a hearing early next month. Wearing headsets to listen to an interpreter, a 15-year-old freshman from Westland Hialeah Senior High School stands before a judge. He's accused of slashing 18-year-old senior Giovanni Pavone in the chest and arm. It happened after a fist fight that escalated into the attack in a lunchroom bathroom. The 15-year-old's attorney characterized it this way. Two juveniles perhaps making bad decisions that weren't the smartest, but making them mutually. But students were alarmed. Really? And like he stabbed him with like this little thing, and it was, it was crazy. And a prosecutor says the attack of Pavone was serious. Respondent had a weapon on school property and utilized that weapon against another student. Judge Angelica Zayas ruled the 15-year-old would be held pending a hearing. Right. Due to the nature of the charges at this time, I understand it is a first offense. I am going to keep him in secure detention. He could face adult charges. The state has announced its intent to review the case for direct file, which means the state is considering filing charges in the adult court instead of the juvenile court. And he is also ordered to stay away from Pavone. No contact whatsoever with the alleged victim in this case, direct or indirect, not through social media, through friends, through messages through friends, messages through family. Pavone was taken to Palmetto General Hospital but was not seriously hurt. There will be another hearing for the 15-year-old youngster on June 7th. We're live in Miami, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.